guys what's going on on vile self in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to get an open NAT type on your PS4 this will allow you to have smoother connections when playing online games and solve certain problems regarding connecting to other players talking on your microphones and help reduce a bit of lag so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by getting onto your PC and open up your start menu in the search bar type in CMD to open up your command prompt your command prompt looks like this and what you're going to type in the little box there is ipconfig slash all just as I show it right there in the box it'll bring up a whole list of things what you want to look for is your default gateway you need to write down that number that is your IP address now turn on your PS4 in the cross media bar scroll to the far right and click the settings button go down to network go to setup internet connection Select either Wi-Fi or LAN depending on whether you have a wired connection or not. Click on Custom, then click Manual. Here you're going to have to input some information. Your IP address is going to be the IP address you got as your default gateway, but instead of the whatever your last digit is, you need to select a brand new set of digits for the last number. Here I gave an example of 666, so it'll be 192.168.0 whatever number you want. Try to make it a three digit number. Doesn't matter what number it is as long as it's not the same as your original IP address. Your default gateway is your IP address. Your subnet mask is usually 255.255.255.0. Your primary DNS is your IP address and your secondary DNS is your IP address with the last number increased by one digit. After that you'll set your MTU number to automatic and do not use the proxy server. Do not test your internet connection at this point. Instead, just back out with the circle button and turn off your PS4. On your PC, open up a web browser and type in your IP address and then press enter. This will bring you to your router's configuration page. If you don't know the username and password for your router, you might need to look it up. Just do a Google search for your router's model name and number and you should be able to find out what the default username and password are. By default, the username is most likely admin and the password is most likely just password. Try these and if they don't work, you'll have to look it up and see what the actual username and password are for your router. Once inside your router configuration, you want to find the DMZ settings. Usually the DMZ settings are in or around the firewall settings. In my router, I have to click on the advanced tab and then click on the firewall settings to see my DMZ settings. DMZ stands for dematerialized zone. This allows you to choose a device on your network in which you have given a static IP address, in this case the PS4, and it opens up all of the ports to your PlayStation. It is essentially the easiest and most efficient way to do port forwarding, which is basically a method that is used to allow ping packets to flow to and from your console and the server you're connected to. In other words, it can greatly help to reduce lag and other potential forms of online connection issues like attempting to party out with people who are across the world. Change the DMZ host address to the new IP that you assigned to your PS4. The previous example I gave was 192.168.0.666. Save these settings and log out of your router. Turn on your PS4 and run the internet connection test. Everything should pass and you should be online and ready to play your online multiplayer games. If you open up a game like Call of Duty Ghosts, you will see at the bottom of your screen where it says NAT type, it should now say open, whereas before it likely said moderate, or if you were potentially in a uh, isolated part of the world or maybe you had a bad uh, connection, it may have even said strict, which is really bad. Um, moderate's what most people have, but open is your best option. With an open NAT type, you'll have smoother online gameplay, you'll have less lag, and you'll be able to you know, chat with people a lot easier and a lot smoother especially people that are on the other side of the world you know if you're in North America and you want to play with somebody in Europe or somebody in Asia or vice versa or South America you're gonna be able to connect to them a lot easier and if you've ever had any problems connecting with people that are not in your region or not in your you know hemisphere then chances are it's because either their NAT type is strict or moderate well yours is open or vice versa or some odd mixture of the two so I would highly encourage you to get your friends and anybody you know with a PS4 to open up their NAT type because it just enables you to play online games smoother, connect to parties a lot easier and not have any weird issues where guys are dropping out of parties and where your chat's cutting out and stuff like that. Um, so anyways guys, this is my tutorial. 
I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you did, please click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading videos. I upload about two or three videos a week. I try to do more, but I am a busy guy. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I hope you learned something. Anyways, that's it. Bye, self. Out.